People in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When someone is busy doing recordings, they don't always think about what is projecting their imagery or their videos or their audio files onto the internet. What I'm talking about is the simplest form of understanding that when we use our cell phones, someone else can totally be watching. It's not exactly Big Brother watching, but it is one of those things that we have to understand that the United States government owns most of the satellites that interact with our telecommunications tools. We also have laws that protect telecommunications and cell phones and other types of social media are playing across those telecommunication privacy laws. When you're using your cell phone you always have to be aware that you have a camera or video camera on your phone. It points both ways. What you need to understand is if you are starting to do illegal activity, meaning you're hacking people and you're not allowing them to know that you're interfering with their life, it just might be that a marvelously large corporation, either social media or video technologies or whatever you're doing that is immoral to someone's life and illicit for your life and basically illegal under the federal laws of what you're really truly allowed to do might be seeing who you are. You see, you can pretend to get on someone's phone by maybe duplicating a phone or maybe swiping a phone and doing playful things because you just like mischief. You like to cause mayhem. The problem is you're going to miss out on all the magic for your life because you're already harming someone's activities online. Most major corporations do not like hackers. They do not like to be con confused with cybercrime hotbeds and they certainly don't like to support people who commit fraud and basically identity theft. And when you get on someone's materials, when you get on someone's intellectual property, when you start to edit and re-edit and review and rene renew and use or abuse someone's videos, those major corporations like Yahoo and Google and YouTube really hate you. And they can easily check to see who's on the video. You see, it's easy to match a face on the camera that's looking at you with the video personality that's being oftentimes, not always, utilized on those video channels. So don't be foolish. If you have a chance to do something on your own, then sit down, take a prayer, do a little meditation, and clear the air, and basically develop your own stuff. If you don't know how to do that, well, obviously there's ways to learn. You can go to your local library and learn how to do that. And they usually have free courses for people trying to get more internet friendly, more available. But if you're a moron, you're going to pretend to think that you are a better hacker faster than ever than any military employee who is watching over America, keeping us safe from the liars, the thieves, the human traffickers, and, well, those who deceive. I'm encouraging you to know where your boundaries begin and end in this world. If you're not content in your life, that's on your life. You made a choice, and every day you make a choice to either live in the light of the Lord or live in the darkness of the deceiver. When you live in the darkness of the deceiver, you're not going to be on the receiving end of any of the Lord's blessings. God can take a life in seconds, and he can restore life with prayer. But the fools of the world never admit that their God is of all the air, land, and sea just like our marvelous military who protects America and you and me. When I say these things, I know the history of America. I know our heritage and I know our anthropological digs go way back and when. But I don't have to be perfect in everything I say, but what I'm going to tell you is we're at the end.